we're delighted to have Jules Abate from uh, the Ark of Montgomery County, uh, who's going to speak with us today. So uh, Jules, welcome. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, Patricia. Thanks so much for having me here today. Yeah, so uh, Jules, first and foremost, uh, the ARC is a large organization that does lots of things. So just if you don't mind, give us a quick overview of the many services that ARC provides, and then we'll sort of dig into what your particular area is. Sure. I'd love to uh, talk about what the ARC does. And we do many, many different things. Um, first thing is that we have a all-inclusive before and after care program that's located in Silver Spring, Maryland. It's an inclusive environment for children with and without disabilities. Uh, also in the uh, Silver Spring, Kensington area, we have a thrift store. It's called Urban Thrift. Uh, and I encourage everybody to visit. Um, Richard is the manager down there and he's got a lot of good stuff for sale at very reasonable prices. Um, we also have an adult inclusive services where we support uh, adults with intellectual disabilities. And that could be in one of our 35 group homes throughout Montgomery County. It can be in the individual's home and it could be in an employment and day set setting. So we have about 150 people in our employment and day setting. Um, probably around a hundred in our uh, families that are uh, living with their parents uh, or living independently with some staff support. And then um, there's probably about a hundred of those folks. So we're, we're supporting uh, over, over 500 people totally in all those adult inclusive services. Um, and then uh, we have respite. Um, so the ARC Montgomery County has been awarded the contract from the Department of Health and Human Services to administer and coordinate the system of respite. Um, so what's respite? Uh, respite is designed to give the full-time live-in unpaid primary caregiver a break. Um, it's not designed for long-term care, but it is designed to give a caregiver a break. Now, uh, we support more seniors than any other population, but we, we focus on four specific populations uh, and they are children with challenging behavior, children with, uh, and adults with functional disabilities such as MS, lupus, diabetes, and children and adults with intellectual disabilities. And again, our biggest population we serve is, are seniors um, and the, best thing about this program for seniors is there is no income requirement. The most important thing is there has to be a primary caregiver residing in the same household as an individual with one of those four target populations we just spoke about. So for example, you may have a spouse caring for a spouse in the same resident, a parent caring for a child with a disability, a sibling caring for a sibling with MS. Um, you can, we have several grandparents who are caring for their, their grandchildren with a intellectual disability. So that's just an example of um, the people we serve in Montgomery County. They're all caregivers. We have partners who are caring for partners and they often say, I haven't done anything for myself for years and I've really never thought about. So then I'll ask them, so what do, you, what do you like to do? So often I hear that many, many caregivers don't have the opportunity to go to their services on the weekends, whether it's Saturday or Sunday, they would enjoy the company um, of others that in their religious community and missing out on their service was a big part of their life. And they really miss that. So many times families will use their respite hours so they can go to service on Saturday or Sunday. And then maybe afterwards they'll have um, brunch or lunch with uh, friends in their community. Uh, and they you know, might take a few hours for themselves to go to the library or um, do some shopping. Um, and then we have seniors that 
they don't leave their house, but they sleep. They just need to sleep. And they know someone's with their spouse or their sibling and they just sleep. Um, As you know, many uh, seniors with uh, Alzheimer's um, are uh, up in the middle of the night and keeping their caregiver up as well. So they just need time to sleep. Um, and they love that. Just, I right. want to take a four hour nap <laughs> and that's great. Or they don't have the opportunity just to read. Um, so many of them I've talked to used to belong to book clubs. Um, they don't have that opportunity um, because they're constantly caring for their loved ones. So it's, uh, people use it for uh, various reasons.